Okay, well, let's check in with our first alert, Chief Meteorologist Paul Hagen. Paul, it seems like every week for the past few weeks, we were talking about incoming rain, yeah. incoming cold. Yeah. Not anymore. Well, now it's going to warm up. Yes. <laughs> we are so ready. And hopefully, Paul, the rain is mostly done, do you think? Mostly done. Okay. I think we are going to see a return of at least some chances by the end of next week, but that's beyond the scope of the seven day forecast. More of a trend outlook rather than anything else. We'll get into the weeds on that momentarily. Let's talk about the big picture pattern that's going to send that warm air towards us. Already kicked in today with an area of high pressure, a hill of air in the atmosphere that's centered down to our south. So it's far enough away that we're not completely cloud free. Some high clouds passing through. Through, but those are just, again, on the move. They're passing through, filtering the sunshine, not blocking it entirely. And while the big picture pattern does shift a bit as we hit the end of the work week, we're still going to be running above average around the bay and farther inland all the way through the weekend. The exception to that pattern is going to be right along the coast where the onshore influence is going to be stronger after tomorrow. Closer look at Futurecast, there is the passing cloud cover. This duller shade of gray indicates the clouds way up in the atmosphere that just filter the sun. They don't block it. Some slightly more substantial clouds are going to be heading our way on Thursday. But no moisture out of those clouds, no green showing up on Futurecast radar simulation. And then we're back to plenty of sunshine for most of the Bay Area on Friday. But you see all that cloud cover right along the coast. The marine layer is going to be much more well established by the end of the work week and into the upcoming weekend. Looking outside, there's that high cloud cover should make for a spectacular sunset this evening as those clouds will reflect the sun's last rays right around two and a half hours from now. Temperatures are warm, 63 in San Francisco, 68 in Oakland. Everybody else in the low to mid 70s We're going to be even warmer than this tomorrow and really we're not going to drop off too far as we head through the rest of tonight only dropping down into the 40s and 50s by early tomorrow morning temperatures in Oakland are going to drop a little bit more if you're heading out for game two of the A's series against the St. Louis Cardinals game time temperature in the mid 60s just a couple degrees cooler than right now but into the 50s by the time things are wrapping up a few hours from now first pitch is at 640 this evening later tonight that's when temperatures are going to drop off to a greater extent a few 40s and a lot of 50s in the map by early tomorrow morning these numbers a few degrees above average and then way above Above average for high temperatures tomorrow. Take a look at where we end up by Wednesday afternoon into the low 80s for most inland parts of the Bay Area. 82 in San Jose and Los Gatos, 83 in Morgan Hill. That'll be the warm spot across the entire Bay Area. Inland temperatures in the East Bay also into the low 80s, at least around 80 degrees and upper 70s for Fremont and close to 80 down the peninsula in Redwood City. Now along the coast, you're not going to be as warm, but mid 60s in Half Moon Bay. Don't complain about that in the middle of April. It can be flat out cold along the coast this time of year. San Francisco should top 70 degrees farther into the 70s for Oakland with temperatures inland in the North Bay, reaching up into the mid to upper 70s to around 80 degrees as well. Of course, the pollen count is going to continue to climb as we see this warm weather sticking around. Really, it's just going to run pretty steady in the medium high category for the next several days all the way into the first half of the weekend. Once things shift a bit, we might have a rain chance to wash some of that stuff out of the atmosphere by the end of next week, the 8 to 14 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center does show a chance of wetter than normal conditions. That 14 day outlook takes us all the way through the end of April. Kind of a neat dividing line there that would be accompanied by a return to cooler than average temperatures. So enjoy this warm weather while it's here. Here's a look at the seven day forecast inland first where temperatures are going to be running around 80 degrees for a couple more days and then even once we cool off mid to upper 70s through the weekend. A more substantial cool down doesn't arrive until Tuesday of next week. So it's a week from today. We've got several more days of unusual mid to late April warmth to go around the bay. Not as warm, but upper 60 to around 70 as we head through the weekend. That's bonus territory for mid April along the coast. That's where you kind of miss out on the warm weather, but you're used to that mid 60s tomorrow and then right around 60 degrees as we head through the weekend with more cloud cover as that marine layer will be much more well established beginning already Thursday and into Thursday night. Guys. All right, Paul, thank you.